Matt, seven people were inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2017. Not one of them was named Terrell Owens. We thought that perhaps the media had a bias against Owens. Does this confirm it? I, I refuse to engage in this narrative because if the media has this bias, that bias needs to be stronger than the player's performance. And I have more faith in the common sense of humanity and our industry to believe that a so-called media bias can keep Terrell Owens out. Have patience. He's one of the top 10 receivers of all time. You will get in. Who's to say when? You don't dictate when, it's when you are voted in. So I don't think there's a media bias, and I think it's a, it's a narrative that's being driven to try to almost prop up Terrell's case, and he doesn't need any propping up. You know, I don't know. I think that there might be, because if you look at Owen's numbers, he's not a top 10 wide receiver. He's like a top two or three wide receiver. I mean, Depends he's second all time at. in yards, second all time in receptions. And, you know, if you're going to look at someone and whether they're off the field, and we'll call them antics, because he never did anything that was criminal. He never did anything that was, you know, where police were involved. If he just had antics, where he was a diva, or maybe he was a headache for coaches, or he was a pain in the rear end, I mean, is that really enough to keep a guy out? I mean, the, 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 if you look up T.O., one of the worst things he didn't do was pay child support, which if we were keeping all guys out of the Hall of Fame who didn't pay child support, that would be a very uh, lonely haul. Magdalena, I feel like this is Excellent. appeasement. And the first time I heard that word was in eighth grade social studies class. And which the you lesson taught. did not end well. <laughs> appeasement is not good. You make a great point for Mr. Owens. He will be in the Hall of Fame. It just didn't have to be this season if you look at the class that went in do any of those deserve to be taken out for Terrell to be put in I would say Davis I mean you have you know listen mile high salute I'll give it to you but a seven-year career I mean for as great as he was in the postseason and he was phenomenal scoring three touchdowns becoming the MVP of a Super Bowl but if that's the only thing we're going on then why did it take Charles Haley so much time to get in when he has five Super Bowl rings if we're just going off what you did in the postseason I think that's a slippery slope to go down. But the question is, 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 is he being held out? Is there a bias? We're not questioning the fact that the man deserves to be in the Hall of so Fame. So why isn't he? Because this wasn't his year this year. It, it, it's just a question of you're waiting in line to go to the club, right? And someone gets in ahead of you. Hey, club. why did you let that person in? Just relax. It'll be your time. If he doesn't get in the next three, four seasons, then we can really have this raging debate. We saw it when Chris Carter had a hard time getting in, when Tim Brown had a hard There's time over getting in. There's 20 of them in the, in the hall now. There are, but that loosened the logjam just a little bit. And I feel like by not putting T.O. in this year, you run the danger of having another backlog that leads to guys who are getting in way later than they should have. And that begs a different question. And should we change the criteria for going into the Hall of Fame? Well, what, what now? I mean, there's only one punter. You know, in the entire Hall of Fame. So if you're going to create this, this backlog or this log jam, then maybe we need to start to reevaluate what puts players in the Hall of Fame. Well, and the great question of that is, is it just what you did on the field, or are we taking into account things that may have happened in the locker room and outside those hash marks? It, it should be what you do on the field, and I know then that now puts the ball back into your court. <laughs> Matt, you win. I absolutely Arr. love talking with you about this topic. <laughs>